Excuse me, sir. 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 Uh, are you the janitor in this building? Don't ever come up on anybody like that. What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you have the apartment uh, 5F. Uh, this is 148 uh, Suffolk Street, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I look at the apartment, please? Yeah, what do you want to do? Well, I just, I, I like to see it. I don't know how, how uh, you know, if I, if I want it, but I, I'd like to see it. Well, you know, it, uh, it ain't furnished. Ah, Ali! Ali, a little nail up there would be I leave these lights on because you have about 12 guys up here today. All right, now, first of all, you got a shelf up here. You can put everything up here, and you've got your water. And you got a combination bathtub and, and dishwasher here. And they can just, uh... Oh, is, what, what's that? That's, um... <coughs> Will someone take that out? Yeah, well, you can take that out. But uh, here, you got a great view, you know? And uh, only one flight up and you got the sky. Now, over here, this is, this is my pride and joy. This, this is a, uh, an oven that, that's kept here, right? You take it as is, right? Or you don't take it at all. How much uh, did you say this place uh, rents for? Seventy-five a month. Seventy-five. Yeah. Well, look, look. I didn't know we had this much much furniture in here. Well, uh, yeah, but how much? How much is it then? Sixty-six seventy-five. Sixty-six. Well, it says no, in look, the paper. Yeah, well, it I know what it says in the paper. Forty-five dollars. I didn't know all this furniture was in here, right? Well, yeah. And the mattresses go with it. No. Now here, over here, we got, you don't need to look out there anyhow, because there, you're right there. I'll take it. Okay. Shut that door. Right, so leave, leave the coffee and corned beef on the table. Look at What the hell are you? I don't want any magazines, kid. You mind? Look I'm what sorry. you're disturbing here, huh? What do you think you are, in your own house? I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? You see that cleavage? Huh? Yeah. Where are you going to get that? You don't get that in a Fellini film. You get that in a Banner film. Now, this is your public, you understand? These guys come from every walk of life. Middle class, rich, poor. <laughs> Don't pay any attention. Things go on in there. I shouldn't even tell you what goes on. You come into one of these theaters, you do not go into the men's room. You understand? You got yeah. that straight? That's one of the laws. Is that art? What's going on? 
Yeah, don't pay any attention. I don't probably leave him alone. Who knows where he's been? <sighs> she looks inhibited, right? Mm. Hmm? You know why she looks inhibited? She hasn't had the right direction. She has not been told who she is in this film. That girl does not want to screw anybody. She wants to screw the man of her life. So who do they put her in with there? Some weirdo with gold hair. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, huh? Yeah. What's going to happen when her mother sees that picture? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. I mean, kids should grow up with feeling of beauty about their bodies, right? Mm. I mean, my, my little boy, my six-year-old boy, walks around with a towel around him all the time. I mean, why is that, huh? I don't see my daughter do, doing that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that's all right. Well, he means well. This man is obviously somebody who needs a movie, but not this movie. <laughs> If it were this movie, he wouldn't be doing this to me. He wouldn't be putting his hands on my balls. Uh, you want to make a film for me, you got to have a property. Kid, kid, this, this is, is, not, this is real estate. On. No, what no, is this? No, no. Is this going to sell movies? Yes, this... This, this is going to sell movies? A tall building? This is... So what? So that's a phallic symbol. I know what that is. No, it's You're not. trying to teach no, me no, something? Mr. Banner, a look, tall I, building? Look, there are two... Listen, I used to watch Superman when I was a little kid, too. You know look, what I mean? You can't, you're not going to teach Banner, me anything new Mr. with Mr. Banner, just the tall building. the reason I've come to see you is because I know that you're a good producer, and I know that if you Take a look at that top floor. Who took this picture? I took these pictures. No, you know no, what you got no, in that top floor? No, the, the top floor is an old woman. That's not an interesting thing. An old woman? Yes, no, You better no. have your eyes checked. No, Look please, what he's showing me. me. Look what's going to sell money, right? Look. You got the right idea. You like titties, Mr. right? Mr. Banner. Right? Yeah. All right. You, you'll buy this before you right, buy listen, that picture, you wanna, won't I'll you? show you something. Come here. Go I'm on, show him something. Opinion. Go on, okay. see if you can make a sale. You see, these are four windows, It's gorgeous, right? isn't it? These are four uh, windows. You can really go home and jerk off to that, couldn't you? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You really go home and put your put your thing right through the window. These are the most interesting windows of the, of this side of the building, there are 270 windows. I'm taking now what I, for Yes. That. Now what I have, you see, I have this telescope here. See? Yeah. And I bet this telescope, and I get the activities of all these the secretaries, uh, the revolutionary, the hippie, young hippies, this uh, playboy down here, and then up there, you got a housewife. That's what I what? How do you know they lived it? How do I know they live there? How do you know they have I've been the watching them. I have, I have all the photographs. I have all the film, the eight millimeter film. And then I've got this telescope, you see, and I do this. And it, it, you set it up here, and it's, and, and uh, you know, so it's what I call peep art. And I think it's fantastic because you get all these private moments. You get all these people together, and they don't know they're being watched. It's not like in the, those photographs in that bookstore, but these are real activities. People you alone, dogs stupid. alone, women ironing, children alone. You think people, alone, children you think people alone, don't know when they're the being watched? Even the children that you were talking. Uh, no, they don't know. That's what's so know, fantastic. You're watching this now. The only compromise in this is, is when someone pulls the fly. Why don't you look? Just look. Look, I'm going to see what you look, see, right? Look on the 16th floor. You think people don't know when they're being watched, I, right? Mr. Banner, can I just... just don't miss the banner me. You're getting me nervous, there you Mr. Go, right Banner. There. Mr. Banner. All right, now, Call me you Joe. look in that window. What? Oh, well, there, there oh, she well, is. Go ahead, look. There she is. Go ahead, look, look, look. Just watch, watch. Can you see it? Hey, hey. I see, uh, like, a very funny broad with a red towel, right? Right, right, right. Uh, you like it. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> What's your name? John, right? John, right. Right, right. John, I told you. Confessions of a Peeping John. Oh, yeah, well, that's... Okay. That's what? what, oh, what okay, you, okay. You, you patronizing you're me? Money? No, huh? I'm not. You're going to give me the money? You're putting up with me? I'm putting I'm up with you. Up. You're gonna give you don't me have money? to put up with me. I'm not putting you up with you. I'm just saying, give me the money and I'll Bring do it. Bring me up here in the roof. I told you I'm scared of heights. I'm nervous up here. You need a lens. I like the idea. It's a good idea. It's a good idea, It's a good idea. Too bad you don't have a lens. You need a lens. You can't. What are you going to work with that piece of what crap? Are you, what are you doing to my huh? Head? I'm waiting for her to take off. I could see her from here better. And I'm near. Look at this. Well, I know I need a lens. I got. But you I don't see have... these? These are $12 prescription glasses. I can see probably clearer. With look at that. I have no trouble now seeing it. I'll get you a lens from Harry. You go down to Harry. You will? They'll send you an ABC camera. You go down. You get the lens. You get the works. You will. You better oh, deliver. I will. I promise. I listen. I you get a lens. Wait, you, sit you, a, a, you sit in your bathtub. You'll be able to take pictures. Oh, Mr. Banner, that's fantastic. Can I shake your hand? You get to know me better. We'll shake hands. Uh, right now, it's strictly business. Oh, that's you great. Understand? That's great, Mr. Banner. How, listen, how much money can you give me? Don't worry how about it. Whatever it costs. But what do you need? Well, I need about. I'd like to have about two thousand dollars. I wish we had two thousand dollars. All right, so I'll yeah. give you about two thousand dollars. You really right? gonna give me two? Get out. You're gonna give me two thousand. I'm gonna give you two thousand dollars, Mr. Banner. You're really gonna give me two thousand? That's 2, right. I, I'm a schmuck. I know. I trust you, kid. I know. I know. I know. I, I, oh, I got a good heart. You remind me of. Uh, What's the difference? Who you remind me of? He was huh. killed in the war anyway. He's a good kid. Went away. Did I was going to teach him the business? You know that? What business was that? 
You try to make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? What? No, I'm not. Like, can you win off the street? You make fun of me. My cousin Marshall. My cousin Marshall would have had this job. Would have had the opportunity that you're gonna have. Mr. Banner, I'm very sorry. I'd like to shake your hand. I'm sorry. Can I expect a check from you? You just tell Harry to send the bills to me. And uh, what you're actually doing is setting the camera motor on, and uh, you can just take pictures of yourself. That's right. You just push this uh, button. And as far as the sound is concerned, this this sound is recorded on this microphone. Oh, I see. Right here. Uh -huh. Does it have a, a what do you a, a zoom? Yes. Now I'll show you how to operate the zoom. Now you just twist this like so, oh. and your subject will come closer and closer <gasps> and closer. Yeah, I see. Isn't oh, that I can great? do that, right. Isn't that great? Yes. Now, uh, you're, are you familiar with the exposure? No, I don't really know anything about it. Well, you see this little uh, ring around the center here? Yeah, right here. Well, right you here. just turn that slowly uh -huh. and slowly, and uh -huh. the camera will automatically set itself with a proper exposure. What's exposure? That's right. What's, well, let's get the correct lightness and darkness oh, of the picture. Oh, I see, yeah, the light and the dark. Yeah, oh, you sure. see how that works? Uh -huh. Now, you yeah. want to try the zoom now? Yeah. Okay, let's zoom right across the room, right over there. Okay. And you see I'll that, that man's gentleman picture right over there? there. Uh-huh. You're getting him right in the picture. Uh-huh. Oh, but it's all out of focus now. Well, we'll fix that. Oh, I see. You get sound just like Hollywood.
Uh, John Rubin. John Rubin? Yes, John Rubin. Hi. How are you? I'm uh, your computer date. Computer date? Yes, ABC Computer Dating. Very nice to meet you. I never ordered a computer date. Well, if you didn't, somebody who certainly looks very much like you did. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you look much better than your photograph. As a matter of fact, you, uh, you're quite a knockout. <laughs> well, I think we have uh, approximately 15 minutes, so I think you should uh, get ready. Do you ready know my room. name? Well, of course I know your name. Joanne Larch. Judy. Judy. Judy Bishop. Oh, Judy Bishop. Uh -huh. <laughs> very funny. You've got a very good sense of humor. As a matter of fact, I uh, punched that in. I'm very glad. Well, let's get going, will you? Uh, because uh, we don't have much time. Well, I think there must be some mistake. Hello, is this uh, ABC Computer Dating? Uh, yes, my name is John Rubin, and there seems to be uh, some mistake here. I'm at the apartment of a uh, Judy Bishop, 505 LaGuardia Place. Uh... A uh, uh, Judy Bishop, a 505 uh, LaGuardia, LaGuardia Place. And uh, uh, it seems that uh, there's some mistake because I uh, uh, have come here under the uh, assumption that we were to have a date tonight. And uh, it seems that uh, Miss uh, Bishop uh, knows nothing about it. And so I um, would like to uh, find out what's happening here. I happen to have tickets for cinema sociables, dining and dancing, and I uh, have a cab waiting outside, and it seems that there, there's just nothing here now, and I'm quite upset about it, and I seem to be feeling quite degraded. Now, could you please uh, uh, tell me what the story is? There seems to be some mistake. There is a mistake. It's 505 LaGuardia Place in the Bronx. Well, I, 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 you should be sorry. You should absolutely be sorry. What? Well, I, I, I'm afraid I'll just have to report it to the Better uh, Business Bureau, yes. Well, the least you can do is send my $3 back. Do you know my address? That's right. Goodbye. What's that? Oh, well, nothing, nothing. I. Well, I spoke to them on the phone, and they said that, uh, that there must have been some mistake. The LaGuardia place that I was uh, told to go to was in the Bronx. So oh, I really feel terrible, and I... Shame. Yes, I, I feel like quite a fool. I feel oh, terrible. Oh, don't be silly. Well, I do. I feel as if I've degraded myself and embarrassed you, oh. and I really, really feel <laughs> no. very bad. I'm, I'm quite sorry, and, and now I have these tickets, and I can't do anything with them. I mean, uh, I can't get my money back because they're, they're non-returnable, so... Uh, well, and I must be can't somebody. call anyone, you know. I'd feel kind of silly just calling a girl now, and uh, Some here they girl are. girl in New York City is free to yeah, me. Yeah. Oh, hmm. oh, oh, ah. Yeah, I just don't know. I guess uh, the only thing to do... Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> no. Well... <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I just can't call a girl now. There must be someone. Oh, listen, um, I, I, I don't want to be rude or, uh, you know, uh, crass or vulgar or impolite. I certainly wouldn't want to do that. I've already embarrassed you enough, but I was, I was just thinking, uh, perhaps, uh, mm, mm, perhaps, uh, you would, uh, yes. like to come. Oh, uh, you would. Yeah, oh, oh, uh, huh? oh, I, I actually, I had a date, but, uh, I, I can't, I canceled it because it, uh, it snowed. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. Did you, did you go? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, come on, let's go. personal to me, that, that child, woman, at times she's a little girl, terrified by the, the brutality and ugliness of reality, and she has to talk in rhyme to preserve her fantasy world. And then, at times, the woman, the sexual, driven, passionate woman, bursts forth like a ripe fruit, so much wanting. And then that frightens her, and she has to go back into the little girl again and talk in rhyme. Yeah, you know, 
Tragedy is a, it's a funny thing. <laughs> oh, wow. It certainly is. Mm. Just breaks my heart. You know, I think I understand this movie really well because I had a personal experience. Oh. I was going with um, Danny in high school. Mm -hmm. And we were at Jim Thorpe High. And Danny, Danny and I were really close, except there wasn't any magic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We weren't really. And um, we went to this party together, and, well, this person was there. Uh, this person, he was like the high school heartthrob. You know, everybody was crazy about him. And I never thought he'd look at me or anything. I never thought he'd pay any attention to me. And suddenly, out of the blue, he began talking to me. And then he began dancing with me. And, mm -hmm. well, we were communicating. We were talking about things I'd never talked to anyone about before. We were really close. And he said to me, would you leave with me? We're two special people, and we should leave together, he said. And I said yes, because it was so special. Yeah. Um, well, we got into his car, and we drove to the quarry. And it was a very beautiful night. And well, I had all these feelings inside of me that I'd never had for anyone before. And well, I gave myself to him completely. Oh, what you did? And um, mm. it was very beautiful, I, I thought. Uh, yeah. And uh, when it was over, I, I said to him, and it wasn't because I wanted to get engaged or I wanted him to pin me or I wanted to go steady or anything like sure, that. Sure. It was because I had for him the biggest feeling I'd ever had for anyone in my whole life, ever. And I said to him, I love you. And I looked in his face. And he had the most sick, ugly, peculiar grin on his face. He was laughing at me. Do you mind if I put my hand here? No. Well, as you can imagine, I mean, everything inside me went cold. I, I became inwardly hysterical. And I, I looked up at him, and I, and in my nakedness, I, you may not believe this, I said to him. Roger, Roger, look at me. Roger, Roger, what do you see? It reminds me of something that happened to me. Uh, I was coming home. I was living with a, a girl, Barbara, a few years ago, and uh, it was her birthday, and I came home, and I had presents and a cake and candles and all kinds of confetti and crepe paper. And I was rushing up the stairs, ecstatic. I opened the door very quietly and crept in, and I heard the shower running. Well, I opened the door to the bathroom, and I hear some voices. And all of a sudden, I open the shower curtain, and, and then there, there are... There she is with, with another person. They were, they were, they were naked. And the, the funny thing about it was is that he had this kind of laugh, this kind of grin, this kind of evil grin. And it, it really threw me. And I naturally ran out of the, the place in, in a state of shock. I didn't know what to do. And, but, uh, you know, it, come to think of it, his name uh, was Roger, because I was introduced to him once before. Rod? And he, did you say this Roger was from Jim Thorpe, PA? Mm-hmm. Jim Thorpe, PA? What uh -huh. was his last name? Parks. Roger Parks. Roger Parks? Uh-huh. Well, well, I'll be damned. Do you know that's the same Roger Parks who was in the shower with Barbara? Do you know that? That same son of a bitch was in the shower with Barbara? That goddamn... <sighs> son of a oh, bastard. Oh, 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 look what I've done. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Oh, I'm moment of, right. of passion, I... I got excited. I'm, I'm sorry. I must have acted act like a fool and I've ruined the pizza. I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I just oh, a, right. you, poor you. Oh, you poor thing. That's terrible. You, we were both victimized by that, that, that brute, that, 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 oh, that, oh, I, I, oh, I, oh, I get so, oh, I'm, I get so, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please forgive me. You poor thing. You poor thing. Be gentle with me. Oh, I, I will, Judy, but not now. We, 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 we both had a, a very exhausting evening, and we're both drained. And well, when? Well, uh, well, as I said, we're both very drained, and we've had quite an unusual experience this evening, a wonderful experience. I happen to be a person of the weather, and I, I hear that tomorrow the forecast is not too good. It's going to be cloudy and rainy all day, but Sunday is going to be sunny and beautiful, and I think that's a day we should get together mm -hmm. rendezvous. wonderful view we have from the living room and, and bedroom windows. It's really nice because how many people in New York can look out their window and see this much space? Usually they're just looking into the side of another building or into somebody else's window. This is the housing project across the street. And it's not nearly as nice as the one we live in. This is our housing project, see? I don't like that one at all. This one is really pretty. It's really modern and cement blocks all one color. We live on the sixth floor. See, not counting the, the big windows on the bottom. Go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and over to the, let's see, second, second and third window, that's right. Let's see now. Um, this is my elevator. It's an automatic elevator, so we don't need a doorman. Oh, hi, Garrett. This is this is a neighbor of mine. Is upstairs. And, uh, can you hold the door? Because I'm trying to take a. Um, thank you. What are you putting up there? Uh, I, I think I'll come in and ride with you. I don't know. What is that? Is that, is that a, a naked girl? Yep. Oh my goodness. Well, what is it? An advertisement for something? Yeah. What? A play. I'm trying out my new movie camera. <laughs> uh, Garrett is a student at. Where do you go to school, Garrett? NYU. Are you in the play? Uh huh. Oh, are you really? I guess that's why you grew a beard. A lot of actors have beards, don't they? Are you going to leave that there in the elevator? Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll have to come see it.
Well, now you can find out what it's like to be black. I'd like to talk to you. You have the kind of face that looks like no, you're attentive to people. No, you are busy. No, well, why are you so busy that you don't know, want to know what it's like to be no, black in America? No, 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 no. So well, I'm busy. Look, look. you're very busy. Do you have black people in your neighborhood, sir? Excuse me, sir. Do you know what it's like to be black in America? What? To be black in America. Yes. You do? I do. Would it interest you to learn more about black people and how it is to be black in this society? To go through the experience? I don't know what are you talking about. Excuse me, sir. Do you know what it's like to be black in America? Now, Tony, Tony here has got a long time fear. Thinks he's bright because he's acting white. Black people have been imitating white people for so long. They know how to act like you all act. So, I mean, what's your whole problem? Why can't you go through the black experience? I don't have any right. problem. I don't care if you're green, blue, right. yeah, well, yellow. Yeah, well, you know, that's, that's, we know that. You know, we understand okay. that. That's an admirable is, attitude. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to be a black woman? <laughs> she doesn't look black. It's, it's a question of understanding it from the inside as opposed to understanding it from the outside. Right. It's easy to say, I live next door to somebody. That's just saying that you're a liberal. I'm it's not a liberal. Easy. I'm a radical. Oh, that's it. You, <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. you're talking to... Um, well, that's white good. liberal walking good. around the village. You know, you know we have been us. on many marches hey, in Harlem. Hey, We've hey, done hey, lots of things. Hey, hey, we hey, haven't been born right today, you know, you know. All of intellectual white America has been on marches and given to the NAACP well, why have you and intended lectures. Well, have you expected to where you are now if we don't help you? Well, well I'm not oh, saying we, that. We I'm know why we're here. All I'm saying Because you helped us stay there. You have an obligation to yourself as a human. That's what I'm saying. Well, of course. I understand that. And it's not attending marches. And it's not going to lectures. And it's not giving money to NAACP. Just what is yeah, come and check us out. That's what I want. This is our whole Come and see our show. Be glad. Come on, I was in here last year. I said, what are you all about? I mean, it's so nothing. Have you ever been through the glass? Well, we do. Intellectual experiences don't have nothing to do with physical experience. What are you saying to me? We've been through all of It's not about your imagination. It's about what you live, lady. Oh, and you can't intellectualize it, you understand? You have to live it. It's a matter of intellectual. Well, that's what you just said. You have a good imagination. You said you have a good imagination. Right? I live in a neighborhood. You have anything to do with them? But of course. Like what? You see them in the morning, you say hello to them, just like anybody else. And when your neighbor's up there now, that's what you're saying to us, right? If you want to take advantage of the situation now, you know what you have to be to get a scholarship. You got to kiss somebody's ass to get a scholarship. Oh, come on. A large part of your clients are black, aren't they? Yes. Uh, can I ask you if you ever feel uh, guilty? I mean, if your conscience ever bothers you? Never at all. Never at all, my friend. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? I think I have a good idea. What yeah, well, I'll tell you what I'm talking about, man. You got stuff in this store that is the shoddiest merchandise I've ever seen. You have committed your life. You have made it your life's work to suck in the poorest people in this town and sell them the so shoddiest trash I've ever seen for the most blown up, exorbitant prices I could ever have expected to see anywhere. You are a pillar in the system that is oppressing the black people and all the poor people in the world, no matter what color they are, man. Do you realize that? Are you aware of that at all? I'm aware of everything, but I'm really surprised you even talking this way. You know it's our prices that we charge over here? Do you know what we sell over here? They're we're, incredibly we are the over... cheapest. We are the cheapest. Uh, anyone that we defy anyone to understand our prices. We give Listen, everything away. Yeah, but no, you're being a tool, mister. That's I'm being I'm used? I'm being right, used? Man. For what price? You're being used to suck in people, mister. Uh, you, man, yeah, you got man. the wrong impression. No, I ain't got the wrong impression because you tell people to buy this garbage, no. mister. I tell That's people to buy saying, this garbage. Man. You know That's why? Like you say, because I'm being paid. You tell black people to buy it. You tell black people to buy it. But nobody's twisting their arm to walk in that door. Nobody's twisting you to stand out here and I'm for, for a price, man. For a price, for a price man. that means you didn't sold yourself, right? No, I didn't sold right, myself. Mister? It's a matter of but opinion. But that's what you're doing, right? You well, telling people to buy this no, garbage, no, that's man. your opinion. No, that's, that's what a, it is. Well, I'll but tell you what. Take a look get at a it, police man. and have no, me arrested. No, 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 no brother. Yeah. I want to appeal to you. I don't want to get oh, no police what? on you, man. Why do you want to appeal to me? Because you're a black man. That's why. You're bad damn right. Be black, baby. 
There's just nothing you can do. It's, it's uncanny, but there's nothing you can do. I'll start crying there. That'll take about three... I'll give myself three minutes just to make sure the crying and everything really build it up. And if that doesn't get her, I don't know what will. She doesn't say, oh, oh, John, is there anything I can do? And I'll say, I can't ask you, oh, please, John, take me now. And I'll say, oh, oh, Estelle. And she, I, I mean, I mean, Judy. And she'll say, no, no, John, say what's ever in your heart if it's, if it's... If it's Estelle, it's Estelle, and I know that sooner or later you'll love me, and, and everything will be fine, and I'll say... Yeah, that, let's see, that ought to take about that two more minutes. Take a, and, oh, John, take me, and so I'll, let's see, I'll get her up against the ledge here, and then I'll start, kiss her a few times, and then I'll start undoing her blouse, make sure she's facing the camera. I just have to turn to be a little awkward, but I'll get her there. Let's see, and that ought to... Yeah, that's 26 and a half minutes... 26 and a half minutes. It's now 9.57. I have to be there at 10 o'clock. It's 9.57 plus 20 seconds. That gives me 40 seconds. 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32. I guess you want to know why I have two watches here. You see, well, the left watch, which is my uncle's, uh, runs uh, uh, correctly, and the one on my, which is my watch, this one on the right here, uh, I can explain this to you, uh, happens to, uh, to be a little, about five minutes off. So if you notice that I keep looking at it every few seconds, it's only because I'm trying to check it now because I paid $30 to have it fixed. Uh, what's for breakfast? Uh, me! Uh, very funny. <laughs> now, what's for breakfast, seriously? Huh? Uh, I'd like a four-minute egg. I like a four-minute egg, not so sooner or faster. Oh, four-minute egg. Come on, forget it, Uh, I bet you cook just like my mother. <laughs> mother? Yes. Uh, you want a mother figure? <laughs> no, no, I mean, I, I bet you make a four-minute egg just like my mother made fantastic four-minute eggs. Oh. Although my mother did do one thing, and uh, that was that she, she'd make me go to dancing school all the time. And dancing I met a girl school? named Estelle there. Uh, yeah. And Estelle was the only girl who would dance with me, though. Oh. And uh, sometimes uh, <laughs> Estelle and I would, would, would be alone in the country. For example, once we were on a rock and, and we made love. And uh, don't, do you know made what happened love? to Estelle? Made yes. love to me, uh, Well, uh, something <laughs> happened to Estelle. She, she was, Estelle was killed. <laughs> Estelle was killed. We were on a, we were driving along and. Uh, all of a sudden, the car turned over and rolled over about 23 oh, times, and on. I walked out without a scratch, and Estelle was uh, damaged beyond repair. And then the car Estelle. burst into, into flames, and she was burnt to a crisp. Why are you telling and, me this? Well, I, 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 I just want to tell you, I'm a very sensitive person, and I, and I can't so just annoying. jump into bed with so, you like this. But I fell in love with you. Come on. I, I, well, I, I love you, too, but it, it's just that... Uh, oh. Uh, you know, it's, uh, and then Estelle and I went to, uh, well, oh, I feel very badly about Estelle now, and, uh, this, this was a few years ago, time for Estelle. and now I see a psychiatrist about five times a week, and he told me that, uh, well, he, he told me that I'm, that, uh, that I, I can't, uh, have, uh, sex except under, under certain, uh, conditions, and oh. he said that it's a matter of time, it's a, it's a matter of time, I have to get I'll to know somebody gentle. first, no, no, I'll, I'll be gentle, <laughs> I have on. to get to know you, I, 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 look, would you do me a favor, would you wait about, 25 minutes, and that way I'll... I'll Wait, yes. why? I, I, I can't explain it. It's just, it's, it's difficult. It's, it's difficult. I can't explain it. 
Oh, let me comfort you, sweetie. You can only wait a few minutes. Just a few. Here, my dear. Okay, just wait, though, because I have to get to know you first. Right. Right. Let's find out. I mean, I just don't, I, it's not proper. I just don't jump into bed with every girl I see. I, 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 I like you. I, I just don't go around flattering people and saying how much I like them unless, it, unless I really like them. Right. <laughs> so why, why can, you, can you wait a few minutes? Hmm? Because, like, good, good. I, I forgot to tell you something else, too. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I don't have any, uh, um, are you protected? I'll look out with that. Yes, sir. I'd like to have some prophylactics or uh, contraceptives. Uh, contrac well, which would you like, a prophylactic or a contraceptive? Well, I just want, uh, what's uh, for a man? Uh, a man. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on uh, what your situation is. Well, is I mean, that, is it, well, what's the best thing you have for, for right now? I mean, you know, for, for a man or for a woman, what would be the best thing that you'd have? For right now? Yeah. Right, you know, this I, minute. Well, not this, you know, well, you know, my, just, my, just a minute. I've with got my wife, yes. you know, might something might happen. I just uh... now, uh, these are uh, prophylactics, Trojan. Yeah, you see, yeah. these are the uh, quite fine quality. I have them either in uh, unlubricated or lubricated. Uh, oh. which, which is the better? Is it, which is well, it depends, you know, on, on what you like. I'll demonstrate one for you. Now, you see, this is unlubricated. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Is it is it strong as the rubber? Oh, very, very good. Here, uh, see, it really, uh, it really is very strong. It's very strong. It's, it's... No holes or anything. Gee, you can see through it, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it's very, very thin and, and uh, for sensitivity. Oh, and now uh, for your wife, sir. This just came to us from Copenhagen. This is a personal vibrator. You see? It comes in three colors, pink, uh, light blue, or natural. Now... The batteries are in here. They're included in the price. You mean this is marvelous? For, for this a is woman? for yes, a massage of the as you see on the box. You see? Oh. For those hard to get at places. That's good. Here, this is vagabond lotion. Mm -hmm. See? Smell that. Isn't that isn't that marvelous? It smells a little strange. Though. The thing about Vagabond is it has no bitter tasting chemicals. Uh -huh. So once you apply it, you see, the uh, alcohol evaporates very quickly, mm -hmm. and uh, leaving a, a, a sweet uh, residue on the skin. Oh, I you see. Know, as I they see. advertise it, uh, suddenly you're delicious. So one day soon, if you told a smile while soaking in the bed, just stand up tall. was I computed the, the time on my uh, on my watch, the 26 and a half minutes that it would take me to seduce her. 26 and, and a half? Yeah, 26 and a half minutes. And I set, exactly. the, I set the camera onto the clock radio, and I had this red light bulb. Red light bulb? on and off when I the camera was on. Was yeah, and the camera was on, and I could see it from her apartment. Uh -huh. So as, as you'll see now, uh, uh -huh. see, this is the, the preliminary stuff, like you? I'm getting her up. Yeah, yeah. She a pro? And, uh, well, I, th I think she is, as a matter of fact, but she's uh, really great. And wait, see, uh -huh. what happens now is... See, we go down for a few minutes, you'll see yeah, it right here. That's good, you, and then you we build up, up the X. Watch, watch, we're going to come up and I rip her clothes off. It's fantastic, great uh, stuff. Should be up any second now, just uh, just take a second. Mm, it's uh, You're coming up soon, right? Yeah, just, well... Mm, mm. What's going on here? Where the hell are you? What the hell are you doing? That's a $500 projector. What the hell is that? What are you, some kind of genital freak, huh? What is that? Is that what I spent money for? That's my golden fig leaf award, right? From Anchorage, Alaska? How many of them do you think they give out? I'll drop them again. Get out of here!
You phony! Oh, be black, baby, be black. Oh, be black, baby, be black. Is this, uh, you, you're casting for that uh, Be Black thing, uh, for the police officer? Be Black Baby, that's right. Well, I'd, uh, I'd like to try for it. You don't look much like a cop to me, man. Yeah, you look kind of humble to me. Well, <laughs> I don't know, man. If you got uh, pig in you, we'll get it out of here. So why don't you come on in? Door's over there. Okay. Hey, hold up. We're gonna have you run through a trial run, you know, to kind of like test your pay potential. That's well, I'm willing to do whatever you want. I can do anything, so, you know, whatever you want to do, I'm willing. Because I think I can play a cop. Sure, I know I can. Oh, my goddamn door! You're gonna have any perverts here? What'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? What do you mean? That friend of yours? What are you protesting? Let me see a permit. You don't need a permit? What do you mean? What's that? Against the war in Vietnam? Let me tell you something, son. You ever been in Vietnam? Well, I have, and I know what it's like. Oh, yeah, you know, huh? What are you, two years old? You've been in the Army? You have been in the Army, high school. What? What'd you say, young lady? Make love, not war? Listen, I make love very well. What do you know about love? What do you know about war? Well, I got a slut in the face, huh? You don't even wear a goddamn procedure, you little slut, goddamn bitch. What? What'd you say? What are you gonna do about it? Listen, son, I happen to know that you don't have a permit here, so I'm gonna tell you, son. You can touch my bat. You touch my bat. take you through the uh, black experience and you all know that being black means being loose and being in order black. being black means being loose and that's part of our history and what we want to do is kind of loosen you up to more or less prepare you for the experience that we're about to take you through yeah. okay now feel down the arms to the hands slowly you know we're gonna not rush anything touch to the hands Feel anything? Are you aware of any differences? You know. It's got a scar. Scar. <laughs> okay. Carolyn is wearing her little <laughs> I'm sorry. And then to the neck, and then to the hair. You feel any differences now? No, I'm going to hear you. Just feel the hair. 
So this is a natural. Right. Yes, it's very yes. natural. It's <laughs> very Oh, yeah, like a sponge. It's like a sponge. It's like angel Is anyone else? I, I had expected steel wool, but it's soft and... To the left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, Okay. How are you doing over there? You're not doing anything. Come on, move. Stop taking notes. You're supposed to dance now. Come on. Go ahead. I have to review this for, for Right, magazine. and just I'm go sorry. around. You're not touching. Come on. You're I don't want touch to. It. We don't You're have supposed to. to. Just keep going. We're supposed to be touching. We're, we're supposed to be. We're supposed to relax, right? I just right? The guy. This is making me very nervous. I don't, I'd rather not touch him. I'd rather well, relax. It's, it's just a play. You, right, you're participating in a play. And this is part of your part. But you are the actors. And you're the audience. You're also an actor. In this case, we're we just not actress. sure of the point of this whole, whole thing. Oh, we're we'll trying. Well, come on, let's just do it. Right. Okay. Okay. Side, back, side. Now, in order to be black and to feel black, you've got to eat black. And we have here for you today, uh, through the uh, kindness of Sister Carolyn here, who was kind enough to whip it up for us, some of the best in soul food black eyed peas. Ooh. Pig feet and greens. Call it. And here we go, right for you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's enough. That's enough. Just Paul. No, you no, just no, take no, 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 you have no, 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 I don't have to eat that. No, no, no. Thank you. Don't look at it like that. You're supposed to eat it. Taste it. Why don't you want it? Is something wrong with it? What's wrong I mean, what's the matter? It? That's part, that's the, that's what that's the food we eat. We gotta dish out some stuff for the brother up here. He doesn't even have any. Oh, you want to bring up? Open your mouth. Uh, no, no, no. You really must. You you really must. Thank you. Okay, and that's some beans for you. Now you need some greens. Wait a minute. Chew it. You swallow it. Chew it and take. Swallow it. Mm. Go ahead. Swallow it. Swallow, 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 swallow. Oh, there's something. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Okay, that's all right. Oh, would you eat, would you eat? Hurry up and eat, man. Well, yeah, I will. Well, you you didn't Listen, eat any of your meat, man. I, the sooner well, you that, finish, the sooner you get to the show. Right, all of this is what you eat. All of that, that that stuff, eat it, man. Right. You know, you're supposed to be so you know so pro us. Then eat us. You understand? Know there it is. Right there. Eat it. Eat it, man. I I really. Well, eat it, man. I mean, I mean, this is the black experience. Eat it. Thank you. You all have, uh, you're just about ready for the show. Yeah, you're just about ready. You tasted black, you danced black, and you felt black. And now you've got to be black in order to truly know what it is to have the black experience. Okay, so you come on up here and we're going to do you up. Oh, we have a mirror and kind of take care of you. Okay. You look great. Well, you know, you're a bit Negroish, so we got to put some on you. Okay. Yeah, well, you know. No, 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 no you I'm must. No. Lady, lady. It's gonna lady. ruin my makeup. Don't. Oh, please. Oh, oh. Come <laughs> on. I don't know. That's all part of it. Oh, close your eyes. Will you get it in your eyes? Don't get it in my hair. Okay, I won't get it in your hair. You're oh. putting it on it. All right. Don't rub it in. I won't. I won't. Okay. Close your mouth. Okay. Oh, this is oh. Right. senseless. Just senseless. Uh, yeah, you know, the next thing we do now that you are black, as, as, as white people, we want to kind of get to know you better. Because you know all white people want to get to know black people. Is that right? That's right. And we want to kind of get to know you better and kind of socialize with you and kind of understand what you're about, black people. See, because we are white and you're black. We're black so, now. Yeah, that's right. You look black. Look at us. You see? So we want to kind of get into your personal lives, you know. Just, just to be friendly. Oh, I think okay? I have it, yeah. So why don't we kind of break up and get to know each other individual people? Okay? Sure. Yeah, my name is uh, John Dillinger, you understand? Hello. How you doing? Paul yeah. Vimo. Right. Now, uh, listen, do you have any ID on you? Any ID on me? No, ID, identification. Yes, yeah, uh, my wallet. No, can I see you for a second? Where are you from? I'm from Manhasset. From Manhasset? Yeah. Yeah, what do you do now? Well, I'm a housewife. A housewife? Do you have any children? No. Oh, that's, but you don't. Are you going to have some soon? Well, we are up. 
We're planning. I mean, we're in a family planning group. Oh, how exciting. How very, very interesting. Why don't you let me take your purse for you for the rest of the show? And because we're going to go on up to a new level, and I really, you know, I'm going to take good care of it downstairs. Okay, and you don't want to carry this heavy thing around with you all day, okay? So, and why don't you just go on upstairs, and we'll be right with you, all right? Yeah, why don't you just go on upstairs now? Well, they didn't take her purse. Hey, would you like to join us? Come on. Come on. So, uh... Uh, what? She, uh, she took my purse and she didn't take her purse and I would like my oh, purse back. Oh, no, that's silly. Did uh, they take your purse? They, they didn't, I, really? She said they were doing it to everybody, but I'm the only one that it happened to and I don't like that. It's downstairs. It's downstairs, okay? Well, I... Okay, I think I... She took it. What did she take for your purse? She took my. She, she said took every, whole She purse? took everybody. She said everybody was doing it. Why didn't you go down with her? No, 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 no. Why didn't you go down with her? I think she's upset. Oh, I think Talk you should go her. down. Well, I think somebody ought to go get it. I don't want to go down. Joe, well, listen, listen, listen. listen. It's, it's, it's just part it's of the play. It's not funny. Well, it's just part of the play. That's all. Hey, look at my wallet. All my money is gone. I'm sure it's oh, part it's of the play, not, but... It is. It's, it's okay. just, you know, it's just I, part I, I of the play. Go down. Go down. down. No, I don't want you to walk down with me. Let, let, on, let we'll him go. Together. Come on. Well, you should right. go. Speak to the director. I'm sure you'll, you'll get it back. No, I don't. Just stay there. Stay with the girl. Stay here. Stay and talk to her. All right? I'm perfectly capable of going down by myself. She hasn't no, got no, her bag. No, 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 no. It's just part of the performance. Oh, some That's performance. Right. Where's his money? Well, I don't know what to do. Well, I, I, listen, this, this happens every performance, and it'll just... Oh, we'll know. get it later, then. All right. Yeah, come on, let's go up to the next stage. Come on. I'm not going to go in there. That's for sure. No, but, you know... All right, just... What? Where's the thing? Well, where's he going to be? Well, he'll meet you after the uh, performance. Hey, lady. What's happening? You. You. Come up here. I'm talking to you. I said, get up here. Go ahead. Yeah, the one with the stupid look on her face. Yeah, in the green coat. You, miss. Blondie, get up here. I'd like she's her not blonde. Well, oh, she's a nigga with blonde. Get the fuck up here, lady. I'm get up here now. You hear me? What the hell is going on here? Shut up, mister. Hey. Are you kidding me? I don't want you to talk to me like that. Up here. I didn't ask Please. you nothing. I said, get up here. What you, now, I want all of you up here now, because we're going to go through something that you've been waiting for, niggas. I'd like to go to the theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think you want to go. Now, get up here. All of you, get up here. Oh, oh damn, no, you motherfuckers, move! Oh, my God, what's okay, that guy going That's right, it's a gun, and it kills. Now, move. Come on, fat soul, move. You still think that guy was a plan? You stand over here. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Stand right over here. Oh, hey, show now, all of you, get up here. You're going to follow a little routine here. I know you're going to like it. Get on up here. All you niggas like to do what I got in mind. Get up here. All of you, get the fuck over there. Get up. I said, get up here. Give me no hard time. Which one you want? Huh? Oh, let's see. Yeah, but which one you want? Take any nigga you want. I'll take the one with yeah, the, the sunglasses on. Yeah, take this take this like nigga. Oh, take oh. I don't care. Hey, man. I'm hey, on. baby, which oh. one you want? Oh. Hey, Not man, which me. one you want? Oh. I'm on. All right, all right. Take, take any one you want. We're going to go through a little screwing scene here. We know all you niggas yeah. know how to screw, right? Hey, baby, lay down on a fucking mattress, man. I said, lay down on the mattress, no, mister. Where you ain't going no place. Oh, no. Go, man. Oh, stop it, man. 
Mate. Oh, oh. Lay down. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, man. Like, 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 say nothing. Now, all of you lay down. Get up from her. This is going too man, far. Man, if you don't lay down, I'm going to bust you in your fucking oh, head. Oh, oh, You fellas, you're okay, gonna thank you. Okay, lady, it's all right. It it's all right. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Come on, you're a nigga now. What's your name? What's I told you it's my real name. name. That's my real name. That's my real name. I'm telling you. I'm not kidding. Yeah, officer, I mean it. I, I got my wallet, my papers. What's his real name? <laughs> How does he know? He doesn't even know me. Freeman. Martin Freeman. I Martin know it. My Freeman. name is Zen. Murray Zen. Prime Minister of Black Panther. That's I know. He was trying to bomb my house. Martin Freeman. Where do you live, Martin? I live up in Scarsdale. Scarsdale. I live up in Scarsdale. What do you mean, Scarsdale? Martin. Come on, Martin. What's this, huh? Avon Street. Avon Street. Come on, Mom, oh. where do you live? I live on Avon Street. Goddamn nigga, what? Yeah. He lives on 147th Street. Street. That's his brother. That's his brother, right? We're always together. What's his name? His name is Junebug. I call June. him Junebug. Junebug. I'm 
Freeman. Professor Weimar. It's a perfect nigga name. Junebug what? Freeman? Professor Weimar. Watch out! Professor Weimar? Paul Weimar. A real comedian over here, Professor Weimar. You know what I got here? A bunch of fucking lies. Come on, everybody, get out. Come on. I'd like to Come on, everybody outside. I'll get you. Move it. Come on, everybody outside. Come on. Be black, folks. Be black, baby. Be black. Good audience. Good audience. Thank you. Well, Clive, Clive Barnes was really right. <laughs> it was some experience. It was a great, great I'm show. Gonna, great I'm gonna theater. Tell, I'm going to tell all my friends they've got to, they've got to come. They've all really got to come. Except they should have called it. It was really something. Humiliate the hunky, or hump the hunky. <laughs> but it was great theater. How about you, sir? No, it was magnificent. It was a magnificent experience. I'm, I'm tickled I came. It made you feel, feel what it felt like to be, to be a Negro. I mean, black. it really gave you the, to be black. It really makes you stop and think, <laughs> really. Uh, certainly, I've, I've uh, worried about uh, the, the, the problems, the, 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 oh, the, you could almost say the sicknesses in our society, but it was it was invigorating. It was it, uh, I I find it hard to think. Just say that stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, but, oh, yeah. oh man, fuck with them, man. You know, kick them behind, then they still go for them. They go back. I don't there, think they you. learn to think. We you have to go to those shit. projects up there with a silent middle class, and those projects where they're sitting with their pipes right now in their in their chairs reading the New York yeah. Times. You have to go up there and you have to blow their Come minds. On, just do it, man. Go in yeah, there right. and That's blow right. their fuck yeah, right. out. Right. Right. Table of contents, table of contents, uh, contents. Introduction 13, one collective behavior, two, the countryside versus the city, the limits of revolution, the black gorilla, uh, five, paramilitary activities in urban areas. 73, page 73. Uh, paramilitary activities in urban areas. Because all organized revolutionary movements have been thoroughly infiltrated by government agents, the successful acts of sabotage will be carried out by single individuals. The lone saboteur must first assimilate himself into the urban community, assuming a lifestyle indistinguishable from the bourgeois members around him. This concludes our Music to Write Checks by. Thank you for your generous contributions. And now, stay tuned for NIT Journal, The Black Revolution, Part 4, Search and Destroy, coming up next. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Harry Jameson. I work for MetLife. Yes, pleased to meet you. Are you a member of the club? Sure. The urban gorilla must become and remain anonymous. OK, Joyce. Going through the playground. Right. Hurry up. Okay, man, head for the lobby of the West Building. Stay low. Move fast.
Now stay tuned for NIT's award-winning program, Homegrown Happiness. What do I want for dinner? Mm. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever you Some like. Turkey, mm -hmm. beef, or fried chicken, and I have a Mexican one in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been making enough decisions this week, and I think you can make that one. Okay, Mr. Decision Maker. Come on, Daisy. Come, let's have dinner. Come on, sweetie. Oh, right, honey. Honey! Oh. Yeah? No, what did you read in TV Guide today? They canceled Peyton Place. Oh, that's too bad. I can't believe it. I'm so depressed about it. Mm. I mean, you know, I've been watching that show four or five years. I feel as if I know those people. They're mm. like my friends and neighbors. Mm. Well, you know, it must be a blow to those actors when they lose a series like that. I hear that after a few years, or three or four or something, you become a millionaire. Mm. I'd like to go out there and sell a few policies to them, huh? How'd you like to go to Hollywood, hmm? Sell some of the actors some policies? Met us great offices in Los Angeles. That reminds me, the other day I sold a policy to uh, Harry Jameson. He's kind of a friend of mine. And he told my supervisor, Joe McMahon, he told Joe that uh, about my style and how well I sold the policy. And he said that Joe seemed a little, a little nervous, as if I was uh, doing too well, you know? Thought maybe I was bucking for his position. I think he was right. He's jealous. <laughs> you keep up the good work, honey. You keep it up. You're a real plugger. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, honey. Yeah? Did you think about what I asked you? What's that? About the dishwasher. Oh, yeah, I did think about that. I was just uh, selling a policy to someone out on Staten Island, and he had a beautiful washer for $90. And he sort of implied that if I didn't buy the washer, he wouldn't take the policy, He'd buy it from Prudential. Oh, so honey, I, I don't want a secondhand washer. I don't want something everybody else has put their dirty old dishes in. Well... I wouldn't worry about it. It's a very good one, and we can't afford to get anything better at this point. I mean, it's better than buying one for three or four hundred dollars. We have too many payments. We have the car payments. We have this rug that you bought. What color dining... is it? Did you ever think of that? My kitchen happens to be yellow. It's white. But... Why? Yeah. I don't want a white dishwasher. Everybody has them. Oh, come on, honey. I wanted to match a kitchen. So what color do you want? I want yellow. Oh, now listen, we can get a yellow one in a oh, few honey, years when I sell a few. Oh, just never think about those things. You don't know anything about kitchens. Don't worry, it'll work. Honey. Yeah. Oh. What's, what's the matter? Oh. Are you all right? I feel something. What? Oh. Are you okay? It's okay. too okay. much for me. Don't worry. I just can't don't, take it. Just take it easy. I just can't take it. All this okay. housework all right. and all the cooking all right. and all the laundry all right. and everything—it's just too much for me. Okay. Don't worry. I'm just exhausted. Look, look, look. look. Okay. I can't handle it. All right, all right. Now look. From now on, from now on, we're gonna—I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna call the agency right away. Uh -huh. We're gonna get some colored help. It's very cheap. We can afford it. I'm gonna borrow on the policy. Nothing is more important than our child. You understand? Oh, honey. <laughs> Nothing. What Don't worry about, about me? Uh, uh, oh, it really kicked, honey. Did it? Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me listen. Don't press so. I'm, Don't pre I'm not pressing. It's mm -hmm. my child, honey. I can't hear anything, though. Can't hear anything. Wait, me... Well, stop pressing so hard. Not... You're going to kill the okay, kid. Okay, okay, okay. You almost gave me a miscarriage right. carrying me over okay, here. Okay, okay. Take it easy, honey. You're very excited now. You're very excitable. I'm going to call the doctor right now. I'm going to do all the work. You're not going to do anything. I'm going to work until we get a, a maid. Okay, now just take it easy. I'm going to take the laundry out now, okay? Now take it easy. All right, I'll be right back.
And now from our studios in New York, the Now News with John Winnicott. This is John Winnicott with the evening report. This afternoon, I stood on the former site of the community co-op. As you know, the building was completely leveled by an explosion last Friday night. Over the past few days, the police and special agents of the FBI have discovered that the explosion emanated from the laundry room and are even now sifting through the rubble in an effort to determine the cause or causes or person or persons responsible for this truly horrible holocaust. This afternoon, we were on the scene speaking with relatives of former tenants and friends, and we switch to that report now. Avery, Avery Guns, uh, I, I don't live in the building, but uh, I was, I was uh, on my way, I, I was visiting my sister last night, and I left my wallet there, and uh, I'm really upset. I had my driver's license and, and my credit cards, and uh, I don't know what to do. It's a terrible thing. Uh, you think it's a good yes, thing, Yes, I sir. think it's a good thing. I think a lot of people have dogs in this neighborhood. I think we'll be able to walk our dogs now. I think we need more room like this. Well, now, are, were you you weren't a resident here. Obviously. No, I'm not a resident, but we need more. A lot of these things are going to be happening. You know, they're doing they're doing quite a bit of this, uh, and I think they'll be blowing them up faster than they can build them. I live in that red house across the street, and I can see from my window. I can see all the entries that were here. Strange people always walking in and out, all hours of the night and day, uh -huh. all the time. All I the see. Time. So you attribute it to someone who's just Some walking in and out. Some funny person did funny this. Funny person. Mm. Sir, did you have an opinion? Yes. Well, what uh, is your name? Joe, Dr. Joe King. Dr. King, you say? Yeah, right. A doctor uh, of medicine? I'm a psychiatrist. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. Would you like to turn right to the camera here so we could face the camera? Okay. Now, Dr. King, what, uh, what are your feelings about this? Well, you know, it probably is the result of somebody who, who cracked under the pressures, you know, of our society. You know, we have uh, uh, such uh, intense materialistic pressures and... Uh, uh, there's such a tremendous gap between those who make it and those who don't. And you feel that, uh, <clears throat> that most definitely that that frustration is the kind of thing that has taken out... It's the here. kind of thing. We're raised on violence in America, you know? Uh, People are... Uh, all these toy guns and the uh, war in uh, Vietnam. Yeah, excuse well, me, sir, I don't want to reflect what, on what, your excuse no, me, what, is your, what is your name? Uh, my name is uh, John Rubin, sir, and I, I just came back from Vietnam. I spent oh, I 18 see. months over there, and I'd yes. just like to say that... What were you doing over there? I was... Do uh, mind uh, telling us to what... Uh, I happen to be a demolition expert, uh, oh. and well, also you might be able to give us some, uh, some clue. We've been trying to determine. Well, the, as a matter uh, of fact, I, I, I was noticing this building, getting away from that, and it, it looks like a pretty good job. Uh, you know, I hate to say it, but it looks like it was done by an expert, at least. Yeah. I'd just like to say, sir, I'm just sick of this. Well, please. Sorry, look, sir. I'm, the I'm, that's the way I feel. I'm just, I, well, just kind of annoyed about the fact that, that well, well, I just come back from Vietnam after we kind of you know, sweep up the country there. We got 500,000 men over there, and then we come back to this country, and what do we see? You see some kind of mess on the floor, and the people killed, and I've a fellow like this who's never seen any. You haven't seen any action. You ever been in the army? You ever been over in Korea, or Vietnam, or in the second world? You, you haven't seen what I've seen. I've seen arms shot off. I've seen faces blown up. I've seen hey, taken hey, off. Hey. I'm sick well, of all that I, I'm sick we, of all that no, I'm sick of Excuse me, please. People, we have I'm, to, I'm sorry. Uh, we, we have to. We have to. I, I don't mean to push you. I, and we I'm, have to get off the air put, now. Do you have anything you might you, just like to say in summary? Well, uh, I, I would like to say something, I, if you don't mind. No, no of course not. Uh, I'd like to say hello to my mother, if you don't mind. Uh, of course. Thank you. Hi, Ma.